I've been authorized to give away a membership, a one year membership to delete me. So stay tuned, stay on this video, watch the walkthrough. If you want to be in the running for the delete me membership giveaway, put in the comments below, hashtag delete me. I'm doing a walkthrough of the delete me service. So what they do is they go out to these data brokers on the internet. They're like the yellow pages of the internet where they have all types of private data, PII information of the public, anybody really, as far as government name, address, phone numbers, enough information to where if anybody has at, at a minimum your first and last name, the state you live in, and perhaps a phone number, they could find all types of information from you or of you. They could find your address. They could find current addresses. They could find past addresses. They could find relatives. It's crazy the amount of information that's out there available on the internet for free. Again, the Delete Me service is your go-to to remove all that private information offline. What they do is they go to these various data broker websites, such as fastpeoplesearch.com, such as yellowpages.com. They go to these data brokers and they use their uh, request form to, to take your information off, right? And these, these data brokers, they have to comply, right? Although they have they're providing this information. They have to comply with privacy laws to remove them, but they could only do it if it's requested to do so. You could do it yourself, do the follow-ups, send the notices, send the emails, keep track of it if you want, or you could save so much time by using the Delete Me service. They'll do it for you. I've been in a few months now. We're gonna go through some of the information that they request from you. We're gonna go through the site and look at some of the backend information. I have a report that I just got a month I think a month ago, we're going to look at the report and we're just going to show you some of the back end stuff, what you can look forward to if you become a member of this organization and get your private data off the internet. So right now, as you can see, I'm in the back end of my membership. I got a notification here. Um, the delete me coverage has been expanded. This is where when they learn of new data brokers, you can add them to the list to add them to the list to be removed from. So as you can see here, this is the website, United States phone book. Again, these, these, these data broken websites, they pop up all the time, but this is new site, United States phone book. Apparently they have my information and I can opt in to be removed from this data broker. And of course I'm going to. So they just, it says good news. We've added a new data broker, United States phone book to delete me. Would you like it added to your protection plan? Of course. Yes. And here you can do why are we asking and it'll give you some information about that if you want. Obviously your personal data is for sale, all these things. So yes, I'm going to add them. Anytime I get a notification like this, I'm going to say yes because I want my information removed from online for free. It says you'll see the results on your next quarterly privacy report. Perfect. So that was just a notification. And again, once you become a member, you'll get those notifications. Um, we have some reports here. We have some bubbles and charts. It's asking about a relative. I don't know this person. You can answer these questions. It helps them tailor and narrow down on just your specific information that, that detail and identify you. Um, I don't know this person, so I'm going to say no. As much information as you give them helps with this. It popped up another relative, and, uh, and that, is, that is a relative of mine, so I'm going to click yes, my relative. And this is just things you could do. As uh, Again, the more information you provide, the better that they can tailor removing your information from the internet. So right now, there's a total of 77 data brokers. That's 77 different websites, different companies that are just collecting this personal information of everybody and just putting it online for free. 77 is a lot. And again, you can do this yourself. But are you really going to keep track of all these 77 sites? Are you going to keep track of the new ones that pop up? Are you going to do the follow-ups? And imagine each one of these has their own process to remove information. I'm sure there's a request. There's probably a waiting time. There's probably approvals and probably you got to upload IDs and prove that you are the one requesting the information to be removed. You can do all that yourself or you can have Delete Me do it for you. Since I've been a member, I've had about 1,600 listings reviewed. And uh, of the 77, 55 data brokers had my information. We can see here a chart. We have a circular graph. It says your exposed data. So 56% had my address. 16% had my name, my age, phone, family members. So apparently address is, is a huge identifying metric out there. 
and so this is just the main dashboard right here I also have my wife on here as well let's see what her information is okay so she's had 77 total data brokers as well 742 listings reviewed and she was on 56 of these sites So here are the reports that they were talking about. So I've only got one report so so far. I have one that's supposed to come next month sometime in September. These are quarterly reports, it seems like. So I'm getting one in September, one in December, and then one sometime in March of next year. I have one report so far. This was June and August. We can view this. And again, when you become a member, this, this will be on your back end for your, your information, your profile. So let's take a look at this was a scan. The last scan was Wednesday, June 19. 1500 listings reviewed 71 listings removed total PII found 391 apparently this data broker here has the most info on me that's them never heard of them sure there's a website out there called that's them and they have this information on me um, time save searching six and a half hours time save removing four and a half hours and then so this, this is gonna list a whole almost all uh, I'm assuming all the data brokers and what they had on me. So we have 411.com, been verified, check secrets, something cyber, cyber background checks, email finder. There's, they're just giving me a report of all the information found on me on these different sites. And they also give the status. So this was, again, this was like a month ago. Removals in progress, removal in pro progress, removal in progress. So they've already requested my removal from these websites. Now I can go check for myself. I could go to these websites and see if I'm there. I may be removed, I may not be. I read that some of these take up to 90 days to be removed. There, for some reason, there's a 90 day wait time. Um, but if I scroll through this and I keep looking at all these sites, I can see that all of these have my information as removal in progress. Maybe I could see one that um, is removed. I don't know what it would show. Maybe it'll say, you know, information removed. Maybe I'll be able to see that next uh, next month when I get my second quarterly report. Um, and these are some of the sites that I had no information on. So see, advanced background checks, clean, nothing on me. But they're going to scan again in 90 days. And again, as 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 a service, they do these scans every 90 days. So maybe my information pops up on these sites, and then they can take action at that point to remove it. Cluster maps, Dex knows, find people search, fast background check. So apparently, okay, so it listed the sites that I'm on, and they're removing in progress. And now it's listing the sites that I didn't have information on. But the good news is they're going to they're going to do an automatic scan in 90 days. So hopefully by them removing me off of these, these guys don't decide to add me. But who knows? It's a membership, it's an annual cost. Um, as long as you're a member, they're doing these scans, they're checking for your information, they can remove your stuff. That's just a little bit of the basics of the delete me service on the dashboard. So if you're interested, Please click the link, sign up for yourself, or if you want a chance to win a free sign up for up to a year, go in the comments, put hashtag delete me. If you win, I'm going to do a random comment picker. If you win, I'll need to contact you. I'll just need some basic information from you, and I can authorize uh, the code for your free sign up, but you have to put in the comments hashtag delete me. I implore you to use the service if you get the free year. Try it for a year. They're going to do all the work for you. They're going, to, they're going to remove your information. You're going to get the quarterly reports. And then after a year, if you want to renew, you would have to do that on your own. But again, remove yourself from the Internet. All these data brokers, they're out there. Just taking your information, not, request, not asking permission, and just putting it up there. Taking everybody's public information and throwing it online for the world to see. For whatever reason, I can't tell you. But if you want to fight back, this is how you do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please like, share, subscribe. And again, if you comment, delete, hashtag delete me, you'll be in the running for a free delete me uh, membership for a year. On the next video, I'll announce the winner. I appreciate you guys. See you later.